Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. Right, this week we've got something a little bit different. Sorry, excuse me. Uh huh. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I've just got to pop out. I, I promise I'll be back really soon. I'm, I'm really sorry. Excuse me. So just, just here like this, yes? Yes, okay. Um, hello everybody, uh, my name is The Professor and I, I work here at Balloon Market, yes I do. And I am responsible for all of the balloon experimentation that we do here at, uh, at Balloon Market. Now Greg has just had to go out, as, as I think you saw, and he has asked me to step in and show you the experiments. I actually show Greg the experiments. I, I, I live for experiments and I, I showed Greg these experiments and he was going to show them to you. He doesn't let me get in front of the camera at all, so this is my first time, so I'm, I'm, I'm really quite excited. So I can see from the glass of, of, of uh, thumbtacks, as they called in the States, but over here we call them drawing pins. Don't know why I called them thumbtacks thumb there. But anyway, I have those in front of me and I can see exactly which experiment he was going to show you. So you, you, you take the, uh, the, the drawing pins and we put them out on the table like that. And um, obviously, if you put a balloon on a drawing pin, what happens? Well, it's, it's quite sharp, isn't it? Of course it is, it's very sharp. Uh, they're designed to go in walls and put posters up and, and stuff like that. So you, you have these drawing pins and you put a balloon on it and it bursts. However, I'm hopefully going to show you a way to put balloons or a balloon onto drawing pins so that it doesn't burst. That's right. Amaze your friends and colleagues with this experiment. And this, this you could call it a trick if you really wanted to. But as a scientist, as a professor, um, I, I, I would not call it a trick. This is, this is pure science. OK, now with any science you do, you should always think health Think safety, as Greg is always banging on about. So I've got my, my safety glasses. Yes, I have. And just to be super safe, I have some very thick safety gloves as well. Right now, what do I need? Mm -hmm. Yes, I need a balloon. Now, fingers crossed, um, I'm going to put the balloon on there and it's not going to burst. Let's watch. And I bounce it up and down. And look at that. Nothing happens. Nothing happens at all which is good. Now that is because it's basically spreading the load. So that's why when you have a, a man or a lady on a bed of nails, um, the nails do not go through them and they survive on their very safe. Now just to show you, this is not a trick balloon. It's a real balloon. I'm going to get a single drawing pin and let's see what happens when we put the balloon on there, shall we? There we are, that worked. That's the first experiment, done. And, and, and now for my next experiment, everybody. Well, as you can see, I've got a very, very dangerous uh, thing in front of me. It is a candle. Now, I'm going to light the candle with extra long matches. I, I am actually going to put my, my safety glasses on once more. Um, think health, think safety. Always think that. And we're going to light this candle. A new candle purchased today, I believe. Now, what do you, hap what do you think happens when you put a balloon over a lit candle. Well, I think we should find out. So here's a balloon I partially inflated earlier on. Let's see what happens when we put that over there. It bursts. That actually bursts quite quietly. You can see it, it just burns through the latex there. So it actually blew the candle out at the same time. So I'm going to light the candle again. Yes, indeed. Let's light that candle again. Come on. Very good. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. Now, now over here, I have a balloon filled with water. Now what do we think is going to happen? I'm not too sure. I've, I've laid out some towels just in case. This is pure science after all. It's an experiment. You never know what's going to go wrong. And I'm going to put this balloon right in the flame. And nothing's happening. That's amazing. I'm going to not risk it for too long. And if you actually look at the bottom of the balloon, you can see that there is soot there. So it, it has actually touched the flame. I'm going to blow that out. Think health, think safety. And that is because the energy has been absorbed by the water inside the balloon, I think. Um, as the professor, I think that is the case. When there was any air inside the balloon, well, it was just all the latex taking the energy and that burst uh, the balloon. And uh, well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen, that is balloon science. Okay, for my, for my next experiments now, we're going to take a, an everyday skewer, sort of skewer you buy in a supermarket, for, and you put barbecue, for barbecue, I love a barbecue. You know, you, you've got your chicken and your vegetables on there. Anyway, a, a normal skewer, and we're going to put that through a balloon, into the balloon, and hopefully out the other side. Right, let's see how we get on. You get some fairy liquid, 
Oh, any washing up liquid. It doesn't have to be fairy liquid, but I've always found that fairy liquid makes your hands very soft. Yes, yes, indeedy. Um, and then we just coat the skewer with that as best we can. I'm just going to wipe my fingers. Now, as with any experiments, we always think health, think safety. Yes, so here we are. And uh, I've got my, my safety glasses on now. Now, we take this balloon, and where the neck of the balloon is, we put the skewer into there. Hopefully, that will go in. There we are, yes. We're halfway there. And now, oh, let's see. Oh, you've got to get it right on the dark bit at the end of the balloon. Hopefully we'll get that any second. There we are. And fingers crossed. And there we are. We have a skewer through a balloon. Now that happens because when you have a balloon that's fully inflated, it's really a lot of tension in the latex. So anything introduced to that tension is more likely to make it burst. When you've got less tension in a balloon at the ends, that is where it's dark, so you see there's less tension there, then it doesn't. Now just to prove this is a real balloon, I'm going to withdraw the skewer and do this. And there we are. That is balloon science. Hello everybody, uh, sorry about that, I just had to rush out. I did ask the professor to come up and uh, show you the experiments that I was, I was planning to, to show you. I don't normally let him in front of the camera, um, not since there was the, well, the incident, don't like to talk about it, but uh, I hope he showed you some good experiments. Right, question of the week. What is the most ex interesting experiment you have ever done? Please leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you next time, bye. Well, essentially, columns are pillars of balloons that are uh, uh, all part of classic decor and, uh, uh, and really exciting, great impact yeah. uh, uh, for in uh, different parts of rooms or either side of doors. And, uh, and really, once you've mastered columns, you've mastered a lot of classic decor. Another exclusive here on BMTV, it is our very first giveaway. Yes, we are giving away these.